everybody, welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today is a very exciting day. We are unboxing Aeon Trustpass Odyssey. This is an absolutely enormous game in all senses of the word, not only with the amount of stuff in this box, but also with the length of the campaign and the ambition of what they are trying to accomplish here. So we're going to get into the box in just a minute. Before we do that, I want to mention our sponsor, StoneValleyGames.com. This is your friendly, distant game store. Eric and Wendy have a great thing going over there. Go check them out. They have free shipping on orders over $100 to the continental United States. Also, though, if you are in the military and you have an AAAE or AP address, meaning you're overseas in one of those locations, they will ship to you for free as well. I know when I was over in Germany with an AE address, it would have been fantastic if I had, you know, if the uh, if a store that serviced my hobby back then would have shipped me for free. That would have been wonderful. So check them out for that. They have a loyalty program for return customers. Customers, and they have such a great selection of games over there. Everything that you might want, they can find something to fill that niche, whether it's war gaming or family gaming or some sort of epic game. You know, maybe, I don't know if they have this one there currently, but they have lots of great things that can fill that niche for you. So go check out stonevalleygames.com. There is a link in the description below. So before we actually get into the box, I just wanted to give you an idea of the size of this thing compared to some other large games. We've got Madara here. Uh, I had to take my camera off the stand because it just, to really give you a good size comparison here. I mean, look at this thing compared to Madara. And then let's take a look at it compared to uh, Kingdom Death as well. There you go. There it is compared to Kingdom Death. Uh, looks like almost, almost, I mean, this is flush right here. So almost the same length uh but then height wise obviously you got some more space in there and then you know what hold on all right so we've got a flush on this side flush at the back there so you can see there's what about an extra uh quarter inch half inch there and coming over here about a, that's about a quarter inch so yeah i guess that's probably about a, a half inch maybe and uh, yeah, I mean, so it's got the height and then a little bit, just a little bit longer, a little bit wider. And I'm just realizing how beat up my Kingdom Death box is. This thing has been through a lot. I've taken it to cons and all kinds of stuff. But anyway, not talking about Kingdom Death. Let's get into Aeon Trespass Odyssey. Okay, so here we go. Don't even know what we're getting into here. We've got a ton of punch outs. Let's see, it looks like maybe this way is right side up for y'all. Okay. So, whoa, drops right out. Okay, no hang ups or anything. Cool. All kinds of different stuff here. And of course, with this being a game that's got lots of spoilers and stuff, I haven't dug too much into it because I wanted. Other than, you know, I've perused through the rule book a little bit. Um, but this, lots of great stuff going on here. Oh, here's the board. I like, okay, so we've got spots on the side of the board here. Uh, area for miscellaneous stuff. We've got active Kratos pool. Here's the AI deck, AI discard. BP deck, BP discard, wound stack. Primordial is over here. Miscellaneous, summon, Argo abilities. And then up here, can you see that? There you go. Terrain, um, Moiros, Kratos, 
trauma, minor, major, uh, grave, and what does that say? Obel. And then right here we've got condition. Okay, so I know that the campaign essentially takes place in cycles. So we've got cycle one, and of course we're not gonna look too deeply into this, but let's just take a look at a couple of pages here. So Adventure Hub story one, two, three, four. Adventure Hub is Battle Terrain, how to use this book. All the general rules for using storybooks and going on adventures can be found in the rule book. However, the first and most important rule of the storybook is never read the storybook unless you're clearly instructed to. So we're really not going to look through this. Uh, this will ensure you don't spoil the story for yourself or other players. Read only the paragraphs you've been directed to and try not to look at those around them. All right. But this, I mean, the artwork, just look at that right there. This, this is really one of the selling points for this game is the gorgeous artwork. So that's cycle one. Let's just look and see how many pages we've got here. One hundred twenty three pages. All right. For cycle one, cycle two. This one's called Truth. Truth of the Labyrinth, we've got Abyss Watchers here. One thirty five, one hundred thirty five pages. Okay. Cycle three. Wow, look at these minis. Look at these minis. Cycle three, Pitiless of the Sun. One hundred and thirty seven pages. All right, so I don't even know where to start. I mean, obviously, we're not going to look at every single one of these, but Let's pull some of these out. So you got this little guy. That little guy? Don't worry about that little guy. Some of them are, uh, you actually, you build them. So I'm guessing, no, not that. We'll figure it out. You got, you know, like these spots where clearly something is going to go there or it's going to go somewhere. And that's clearly a connector right there. Look at this guy. It's quite, quite the uh, spear. It's only got one wing. There's a wing, but I don't see, I don't think that's his. I don't see where it connects. Man, there's so much to get into here. So excited. That guy's got like a flaming sword. in the world this thing is uh, I think this would be the face with all the hands or all the fingers that is nuts
Oh, look, there's a ship. Oh, my. So to give you an idea of the scale of these, some of these guys, I just realized this guy's standing over some columns here. So, and here's a ship. So this guy's huge. These, these must be, you know, I know there's Titans involved in the game. Oh, how's that going back in? This one. There we go. All right. I mean, there's a building that this thing's standing over. Got this arm coming out up here. All these weird faces. Something about mouths where eyes should be always bothers me. It's always super creepy. Oh, look at this guy. The little tiny person down here. I mean, obviously, that's probably actually an enormous human being. Look at that. That guy is just muscle bound. So compared to this guy. Okay, no hands, just wrecking balls and standing over a temple or something here. Wow, that's just so much. And then you got these little tiny, little tiny people too. Look at that. Okay, learn to play. So you've got learn to play here, which is 34 pages, all right? And then you've got the actual rule book, which is 81 pages, essentially. Um, Something about this, though, it does say that this rule book is not meant to teach you the basics of Aeon Trespass Odyssey. That is what the learn to play is. This is more of a reference situation. Uh, when I create my instructional video for this, likely what I will do is uh, certainly I'm going to create one based off this book. I'm going to read through this and see if it would be worth creating an instructional video uh, based off of this as well. But I may... Uh, just create an instructional video, uh, maybe four or five parts based off of the rule book itself. All right, let's see. Let's finish looking at these minis and then we'll move on to some of the car. Oh, wow, look at these guys. That is so heavy. So you can see, obviously, stuff can go there. go in there is it like that <laughs> what the hell was it like that is that right I think that's right is that yeah okay all right wow Look at the snake the snake heads down here That break off? Oh, it did! Oh, that sucks. All right, I can glue that back on though. 
Oh man, that really sucks though. Hmm. I'll just keep this out for now. All right, so obviously there's things in here we're not going to look at. I mean, do not open until told to do so, which is the same for all these. So none of that we're going to look at. Let's go through this a little bit, though. Herodotus. So we've got, I think, seven Dreamwalkers to start off with. Herodotus, Ulysseo. In the back here, you got Kratos, table abilities, battle sequence. Resolving AI card attack, Titan attack sequence, so lots of reference back here. And then we get into some of these other Earthshaker, Maze Runner, Logic Breaker. Game Changer. I don't know that I want to get too deep into all of like I don't think this is spoiler stuff necessarily but I'll just kind of quickly run through these without really I don't know this is looking like it might start getting into well now here we go just skip Skip ahead in this if you don't want to see this over here. Oh, see, now we're getting to some of these monsters that we were looking at. The Hecaton. Whoa. All kinds of stuff going on in the back here. The Labyrinthosaurus. No, no. Labyrinthaurus. Alpha Timonos. Hermesian Pursuer. War Keeper. Eh, I think that's enough. I, I just want to make sure I'm not getting into too many spoilers or anything. Does that go in here? I think that looks like it fits right there. Or does it go here? How does that fit? Yeah, that must go right, right in there. All right. Mm. So, so many cards. We really are not going to go through all these. Oh, and see, these are like... So, all right, so secret deck seven, no trespassing, so definitely not messing with that. This does not appear to be a secret deck. So we'll open up a few of these, make sure we get a little bit of each of the different sizes. like a lot of equipment it says combat Spartan weapons cyclone of sighting burden sighting grassroots support grand stoa Nietzsche armor comp for combat what is left of the Nietzsche Nietzsche shadow will become your shield smelted gear Hecaton sighting. Pursuer sighting. All right. So, of course, no real idea what any of these do. Again, another reason why I want to be careful. I've not looked at BP cards, so let's pull. Let's open this one. So we've got BP, routine, signature, AI. These are all Nietzsche cards. 
So let's just look at one BP card here. Black Muscled Abdomen. Your weapon gets stuck among the muscles. Exhaust your active weapon. Critical. You deal a mortal wound that would slay a lesser creature. The Nietzsche brushes it off as if it was nothing, or maybe it is something. He seems slightly slower. The Nietzsche gains one negative to hit token. Body. Okay, BP stands for body part. All right. Let's look at these. Are let's just go down to AI level two, level one, AI one. All right. World of Hurt. Target blast zone. Turn to face the most titans. Attack. Each hit deals two. Uh, and burn. Knock back seven. Knock down. After attack, exhaust your titan. I see here we move on to Cyclonus. So. Who was this? Body part. Body part. Let's go to body part level one for the Labyrinthus. Armored hind leg. Wound. Knock back five. Knock down. The armor plate. Oh, critical. The armor plate on the hind leg bends and breaks under the strength of your attack until the end of battle when attacked from any of the W spaces. The Labyrinthosaurus. The Labyrinthosaurus has minus one, whatever that is. Okay, all right. Let's keep moving here. Looks like double wound. That's cool. Some more body part cards. The Ambrosial Vesicle. If you fail, you perform signature against the attacker. If you wound, gain one Ambrosia token. Critical, you smash the vesicle secreting ambrosia. A patch of the refined substance latches onto your skin, temporarily boosting your strength. Unexhaust all of your whatever and perform a bonus attack. Very cool. Single wound. AI card. Body part. All right, we've got another secret deck over here, so obviously I'm not going to open that up. We've got terrain tiles, lots of terrain tiles here. We're not going to open it. We'll just open up uh, one of these. That one looks like it has the lowest numbers. So you can see this is what the terrain looks like. Thirteen and fourteen. Well, that goes to nine, so let's see how they connect. All right. Yeah, so there you go. So you can see it's got kind of a seventh continent feel with the as far as the terrain goes, with how all that connects. Let's make sure we put these back. Thirteen. 14 and 9. Uh, and then we've got these little decks over here. Pithos Armor. Technology Burden Sighting. This is cycle 2, though. See, that's what I, I don't want to get too deep into stuff that's not... It's one of those these games that is spoiler heavy. So you've got knockdown. If you move voluntarily, attack or use an action or ability, stand up. At the start of your turn, stand up. If this card is discarded by another effect, stand up. If you stand up, you put your miniature in the normal position and discard this card. Oh, no trespassing on that, so we won't mess with that. So, yeah, I think, oh, God, we just, so many spoiler possibilities. Major Trauma card, Enigma of Transformation. Pithos Armor again. Siren Tusks, cool.
Cool. The most powerful sirens are said to have grown these. Now let's take a look at the dice here. What do we got here? These are, oh, to build whatever those dials are that we saw in some of the punch outs. So we've got these red dice. Let's see. So we've got, looks like. All right, so different stuff going on there. So we've got those D6. We've got white D6 here. And then black D6. We've got black D10s. It's like normal numbers except for that right there. And a couple of white D10s as well. And I think that is everything as far as the dice goes. And that's pretty much everything in the box. Obviously, we're not going to look at all these cards, but you get the idea. There is so much. How many secret envelopes? One, two, three, four, five six seven secret envelopes as well eight eight secret envelopes and so there you go that is our unboxing of aeon trespass odyssey now we will be bringing you a full instructional series on this game again i've got to figure out if i'm going to include the learn to play guide in that or if i'm just going to work on the uh the main rule book itself uh, we'll just kind of see you know I don't know, I gotta read through that learn to play guide and, and see what I think as far as whether that's worth creating a video for or not. But regardless, we'll have a full instructional series. We're definitely gonna have some gameplays eventually for this as well. Come back for all of that. Uh, we've got other great stuff coming up as well. We've got some stuff for Keystone North America. We've got Dungeon Universalis, Frosthaven coming up. Uh, Nemo's War is coming up. So lots of great stuff. Stay tuned. And until next time, if you're bored online, board offline.